Hello. So, it is now the third day on the Kaibab Plateau, and I'm still in my winter wonderland. Um, originally, the forecast was supposed to be that everything was over by now, but the forecast is now saying that I've got probably two more hours of uh, this, the remnants of this storm. I can actually see blue sky through the light cloud layer now that I'm looking up, so it's coming fast. Um, but if you look that way, you can see that it's sort of still kind of flurrying back there. Um, my shoes and my socks were frozen solid. It was 30 degrees, um, but I slept on the porch of the ranger's cabin residence with two other AZT hikers. Um, and I guess just not being in my tent caused some things to get a little bit colder than usual. Um, and it's snowing right now. But I'm almost there. I'm almost through this. Just a couple more hours. Uh, yesterday, late in the day, things really started to uh, start melting. It really warmed up for a little while and got really slushy and wet. Um, so I was grateful to have the porch to sleep on and a break from setting up my tent. Um, but now we're gonna, we're about 10 miles from the North Rim. So I'm leaving the North Rim, uh, the very edge of the South Kaibab Trail, or North Kaibab Trail. And hats off to these two people down here. They just hiked a bike across the bottom of the canyon and they had to carry it the whole way their tires could not touch the trail the entire time. So now on my special little journey, I'm taking the Ken Patrick Trail over to the Minko Leap. This is the beginning of the Ken Patrick Trail. Someday the trails will return to normal. And my feet are gonna get wet again very quickly. This is the view from the North Rim. walk. traffic out here right now because the North Rim is not open yet. A few cars can get around, but they have to have four-wheel drive to go on dirt roads. And then you cross the road and you get this view. a theme here. The trails in the Grand Canyon are steep. 